morning. I'm Lorraine Johnson, the CEO of LymeDisease.org. Today I'm going to talk to you about some of the results that we are getting from my Lyme data. About 20% of patients in my Lyme data report being misdiagnosed with an uncurable progressive neurologic disease. And that's what we're going to talk about today. My Lyme Data is a patient registry launched by LymeDisease.org in November 2015. We currently have over 4,000 people enrolled in My Lyme Data. Our goal is to reach 10,000 enrolled, so we're well on our way. One of the things we are using My Lyme Data for is to find out what is going on with chronic Lyme disease, and we do this by asking patients directly. So it's an exciting research project that is patient-centered. We ask patients in the MyLyme data registry if they had been initially misdiagnosed with another illness. And unfortunately, most of the patients reported that they were initially misdiagnosed. And roughly 20% of those with chronic Lyme disease reported being initially misdiagnosed with a neurologic disease. 14% of chronic Lyme patients report being initially misdiagnosed with MS. And roughly 2% are misdiagnosed with other neurologic diseases like ALS, Parkinson's, and multiple systems atrophy. Now you might think, no harm, no foul, so long as they are eventually correctly diagnosed in treating the Lyme disease. But that's not true. For one thing, neurologic Lyme that manifests as these diseases causes neurologic damage and may continue to progress until it is properly diagnosed and treated. Even with treatment, physicians report that previous damage may not be reversible. And the treatments for infectious disease are very different than those for diseases like MS. MS patients, for example, may receive steroids to suppress the immune system. But studies have shown that steroids are the last thing you want to give somebody with an infection. That's because when the immune system is suppressed, the infection is essentially allowed to run rampant. Patients with Lyme disease who are given steroids become very ill. So it's important that with neurologic conditions in particular, that Lyme disease be ruled out as a causing factor so that the proper treatment can be provided to the patient as early as possible and neurologic damage can be avoided. Let me end by thanking the 4,000 patients who have enrolled in My Lyme Data so far. If you have Lyme disease and have not enrolled in My Lyme Data, please do so today. Thank you.